A couple of days ago, I was casually scrolling through Amazon, looking at the usual things I like to spend my money on, when suddenly... I came across something super interesting known as a mystery box, where basically you have no idea what you are going to be sent in the mail. For all I know, these two boxes I bought could contain a ton of baby poop, or maybe I just got the deal of the century on a brand new iPhone 11. We don't really know. Today, I am going to find out if I made one of the best or one of the worst financial decisions of my life. Now, I know other YouTubers have made videos like this where they spend $10,000 or even $100,000 on a mystery box. And well, that is just stupid. Number one, I can't afford that right now. And number two, I would never spend one hundred grand on a mystery box even if I had that amount of money to spend. So instead, today I spent $100 on two mystery boxes from Amazon, and today we are going to see what is inside. Hopefully it's something pretty cool. Mystery box number one, opening, engage. All right guys, so this first mystery box that I am about to unbox cost me exactly $34.99 on Amazon prior to tax. Based on how much stuff I see in here, I feel like we could probably break even or maybe even profit just a little bit because if you guys didn't know, I'm actually going to be reselling every single one of the items I unbox today on eBay. So hopefully we unbox some pretty cool stuff and also as I unbox every single item, I will have a screenshot to show how much it is selling for on eBay. Another thing I quickly wanted to mention about this mystery box is that the listing for it on Amazon is super vague. The title of it says, Ano Mystery Box Makes Nice Gifts Anything Possible. And then the description for this product does mention that all products in this mystery box are randomly selected. And if you are risk adverse, you probably shouldn't be buying a mystery box like this. But you guys know me, I am definitely not risk adverse by any means and I feel like that's both made me a lot of money and it's also made me take some stupid risks I shouldn't have. So guys with that all being said let's see what's inside this box. Alright guys so the first thing I do want to mention about this box is that it's super lightweight. I think there's probably like four or five maybe six items in this box. I wasn't honestly expecting too much with this one since it was relatively cheap it didn't cost me a ton of money so we don't need to get too many good items to make our money back. So the first item I see right off the bat is a phone lens kit and I am actually going to go ahead and open every single one of these products up even though I am going to be reselling them because I really want to get to know like what these products exactly are because a phone lens kit really doesn't tell me too much. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with this little zipper right here and we'll see what's inside. Oh man. So it's like a little tripod setup for your, your camera. Gosh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So it looks a little bit like this and uh, it seems to be an item someone could use for for like photography, I don't really know, but it's something similar to actually what I have for YouTube. So when I'm vlogging on my phone, I definitely use a little tripod like this. So that's pretty cool. I feel like the resale value on this is maybe $10, $15. And uh, all in all, it doesn't seem like a bad product. I'm actually really happy with it. The next item in this mystery box that I see right here is an easy clip car mount for your phone. So basically you put this in your car and then you can kind of hang your phone up. I don't really want to unbox this one because I have a really good idea on what it is and how much it's worth. Probably like, I'm going to guess right off the top of my head, this thing is selling for like $9 on eBay. And uh, yeah, not a bad product overall. The third product I see in here is kind of a piece of garbage. It says right on the label, made in China. So we already know it's not worth a ton of money because, you know, China produces some really cheap items. And I mean, that's great, but we're going for high resale values here. So they're basically just three iPhone chargers that I'm definitely going to try and resell on eBay for like two, three dollars. Probably not a whole lot of money. 
And the final product I see here in this mystery box is something I have no idea about. It says here on the box, Milorde, Milorde, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it has some plastic wrap and I'm going to have to unbox it because I have no idea what this product is and to be able to resell it, I'm going to have to, you know, figure out what this product is. So I'm just going to unbox it and uh, I'm going to have to sell it as used. But you know what? It'd be like that sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic wrap off and I'm guessing it is a belt. I'm going to guess it's a belt because it said leather on the box. Yup. And sure enough, it is a pretty nice quality belt made with leather and uh, yeah. I feel like this has probably a resale value of like $15. It seems like a pretty nice brand. All in all, with this first mystery box, I think we should about break even. I think the phone lens kit and the belt are the most valuable items in that mystery box, and that should get us about $30 in revenue on eBay. And then the other two items in the box should probably get us another 10 to max $15 in revenue. And then after eBay and PayPal fees, we should make about $0 in profit on the first mystery box. The next mystery box that we're going to be opening in this episode cost me a fat $59.99 from Amazon. And guys, let me tell you, this box has a ton more items in it. I can already tell because it's much bigger in size and it definitely weighs significantly more. The listing for this mystery box was pretty similar to the other mystery box we bought because they're both made by the same company, Aneo. The reason I bought both mystery boxes from this company is because they were the only company that had decent reviews for selling mystery boxes on Amazon. But we aren't going to talk any more about that because Clout ain't free and Aneo ain't paying me a bag for this video. Instead, I had to spend $100 on their mystery boxes. Now guys, with that all being said, uh, let's open this baby up. I'm really excited to see what's inside. Oh my gosh, guys, there is so much more stuff in this mystery box. I am absolutely amazed. That is crazy. I'm not even sure if you guys can see, but it is filled to the brim. And let me tell you, it's pretty full, and uh, now that I'm looking more into this, it seems like some of this stuff is used, but I might be tripping, I might be tripping. Let's make sure that uh, all of this stuff is new, because I don't want any used stuff. I feel like that's kind of weird. But we weren't promised anything in the mystery box listing. They said don't over expect on things, but for this first product that I opened up, it is a like little portable charger for your cell phone. Not a bad product overall, something someone would be willing to pay like three, maybe even $5 for on eBay. I'm not too sure how much these things are going for. The next product I'm gonna take out here seems pretty awesome. It says it is a new mini LED magic ball light. I'm gonna be flat out honest, never heard of something like that. So let's, let's open this thing up without destroying anything so that I don't destroy its resale value. But let's take a quick look here. Okay, pretty interesting. So it's just a basic LED light for decoration and it comes with a remote right here. So pretty interesting, not a terrible product. I have absolutely no clue how much this would go for on eBay. But if I were to guess, let's let's keep this fun. Let's say nine, ten dollars not, not much money at all. All right, guys, so the third product I'm going to take out of this mystery box is another one of those LED portable lamps. We already know how these look. I already guessed they're probably worth like nine, ten bucks. So uh, that's some more money in the bag. Now let's go to the fourth product. The fourth product we're about to unbox is a pet squeaky toy for a dog. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm actually going to open this one up just to get a good idea of how it looks. It is a new product because it actually has the tape still on it. So this would be something pretty cool that I could sell on eBay. I'm pretty positive this is worth some money here. So this is how the product looks. Looks like a pretty cool toy a dog would like. I'm sure these are selling on eBay for like four or $5. Not much money, but I, I know I could sell this and uh, we could get some of our investment back with this item. The next item I'm about to unbox is taking a lot of space in this mystery box. So let's go ahead and find out what it is. So it comes in this cool plastic wrap and it's just a bunch of stuffed animals. 
Oh my gosh, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to sell this on eBay. I highly doubt there's anything like it, but if I find something similar on eBay, I'll put it on the screen. The next product in here is a multi-port adapter. Very cool. This is actually something I need, so I might actually hold on to this because I know these are worth a lot of money, but it definitely seems to be a generic version of the original Apple product. But basically, with a Macintosh, you actually don't get a connector for your HDMI, and uh, this is actually worth some money because Apple sells these for like 40, 50 bucks, but a generic version, if I were to guess, is worth like, what, 10, $15. But this is a really good product overall that I might have to hang on to, but maybe for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it on eBay. Another product in this mystery box is something I have no idea what this even is, is it says on the box, mini heat sealer. I have never heard of a mini heat sealer, but I'm gonna take it out and maybe I'll recognize it. Yeah, I, I don't really know what this is, to be honest, a mini heat sealer. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna look it up on eBay and see how much it's worth. The next item in this mystery box is a magnetic wristband, so that's pretty cool. It seems to be something people use when they're working outside or if they're a handy person. Um, I'm gonna guess maybe another three, four bucks in profit on that item. Next item is a flashlight with tire gauge emergency. So this is something you keep in your car in case of an emergency, it measures the tire pressure. I, I think this is something someone would buy online, but who knows, people buy everything online these days, even groceries. The next item is a rainbow sketch paper. Okay, this is something that I feel like people would like. It's probably worth like 10, $15. And the final two things that I have in this box seem pretty cool. They're relatively heavy and they're just brown boxes. So let's open the heavier one up first and see what's inside. Christmas lights, Christmas decorations. This is something someone would buy, I'm sure. I'm not sure if they'd buy it on eBay, but if not on Craigslist, I could probably sell these for some money. The final product in the $59.99 mystery box is, is another one of these remote control Chinese products that are super cheap. I, I don't even know what this is, oh my gosh. Is it a smoke detector? I'm gonna look it up on eBay and then put it up on the screen to show how much it's worth. That was definitely an interesting mystery box to open up. We had a ton of different items to take a look at. And to be honest, none of those items seemed like they were worth a lot of money. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up losing 10 or $20 on that mystery box because none of the items seemed like they were worth anything. But we won't know for sure how much money we made or how much money we lost on this experiment until your boy Will puts his glasses on and does some math. I just finished doing some math and I think it is already pretty clear that investing into mystery boxes from eBay or Amazon is probably not the best investment you can make. I think you would be a lot better off selling these mystery boxes online than unboxing them in hopes of making a small profit. So guys, if you want to see me sell mystery boxes on a place like eBay or Amazon for an entire week, please be sure to drop a like on this video. And if this video gets, let's say, 1,000 likes, I will go ahead and make a video like that. In conclusion, I invested $100 into two Amazon mystery boxes, and I ended up coming out with $114.47 after accounting for any associated eBay fees, PayPal fees, the mystery box cost, and of course, shipping cost. I was actually super surprised to come out with a profit on this experiment, but I guess the items that I unboxed today were worth a lot more than I thought they were. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, please be sure to drop a like if you have not already, and peace out.